What if one of the most familiar objects in our night sky, the moon, suddenly turned from Earth's silent companion into its greatest threat? What would happen if the moon was on a collision course with Earth? This isn't just a science fiction plot. It's a scenario that, while extremely unlikely, is scientifically intriguing. In this video, we'll take you on a journey through science, history, physics, and imagination. We'll simulate what would happen if the moon, our tide maker, our orbital stabilizer, our cosmic partner, fell toward Earth. What causes it? How fast would it move? Could we survive it? And what would be left of our planet and us? Let's begin. The moon isn't just a glowing circle in the sky. It plays a massive role in stabilizing life on Earth. Its gravity pulls on our oceans, creating tides. It keeps Earth's tilt steady, which affects our climate. Without the moon, our planet would wobble more drastically, leading to violent weather patterns over millennia. The moon was born out of violence. Around 4.5 billion years ago, a Mars-sized body called Thea slammed into Earth. The debris from that impact coalesced into our moon. Ever since, the Earth and Moon have been locked in a gravitational dance, slowly drifting apart at a rate of about 3.8 centimeters per year. But what if, instead of drifting away, something caused the Moon to spiral toward Earth? There are a few theoretical ways the Moon could fall toward Earth, all requiring immense forces or cosmic events. 1. A rogue planet or star. If a massive object passed through our solar system, it could disrupt the moon's orbit. Even a small shift could destabilize the balance. 2. Loss of orbital velocity. If the moon somehow lost its momentum, perhaps due to an enormous asteroid impact, it could begin spiraling inward. 3. Artificial influence. Though pure science fiction, advanced civilizations or catastrophic technology failures could trigger gravitational shifts. Let's say the moon begins falling toward Earth. At first, it would be slow, barely noticeable. But as it gets closer, Earth's gravity would accelerate it. The effect wouldn't just be visual, it would be physical. As the moon approaches Earth, tides would become extreme. Coastal cities would experience massive flooding every few hours. The increased gravitational pull would stretch Earth's crust, triggering massive earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Animals that rely on the moon for navigation, like sea turtles and birds, would become disoriented. Ecosystems would begin to collapse. The sky would become dominated by a massive looming moon, growing larger every day. Lunar debris would begin to enter Earth's atmosphere, creating worldwide meteor showers. The atmosphere would become chaotic. Storms fed by temperature anomalies and magnetic disruption would rage across continents. Humanity would face its most terrifying test. Governments might attempt to evacuate inland. Underground bunkers would be rushed into construction. But none of this would stop what's coming. As the moon draws closer, the collision becomes inevitable. With each passing hour, gravity between Earth and moon strengthens. The moon begins to disintegrate under tidal stress, forming a ring of fiery debris reminiscent of Saturn's. But unlike Saturn's peaceful rings, these fragments begin falling onto Earth. Cities are struck by lunar meteors. Fires rage uncontrollably. Day and night blend into a hellish twilight. Eventually, the core of the moon crashes into Earth, somewhere in the Pacific Ocean. The energy released is more powerful than any asteroid strike in history. Mountains melt. Oceans boil. The atmosphere ignites. The collision doesn't destroy the Earth entirely, but it renders it unrecognizable. Shockwaves ripple across the globe. Tectonic plates shift violently. A new supercontinent begins forming from the wreckage. The impact creates a second, smaller moon from the debris, or perhaps none at all. The sky becomes dark for centuries. Earth plunges into a deep freeze, a lunar winter. 
but life is tenacious. Is there any way we could stop such an event? Could humanity, with all its technology, prevent the moon from crashing into Earth? Ideas range from nuclear propulsion to altering gravity via artificial satellites. Science fiction speaks of tractor beams and planetary deflection. In reality, we are far from such capabilities. Our best defense? Early detection and avoiding any disruption to the Earth-Moon system. The moon has always been a symbol of calm, a quiet light in the night sky. But its presence is not passive. It's a force that shapes our planet, our lives, and our very existence. What if that force turned against us? The truth is space is not peaceful. It's wild, violent, and unpredictable. And while a moon-earth collision is unlikely, understanding the forces that bind us, and what might unravel them, reminds us just how fragile our world truly is. Stay curious. Stay questioning. Because the universe is full of surprises.